and the wicked shall hold their tongues. They stir <clears throat> beneath this silent world of saints and sinners, twixt the living and the dead. <coughs> Train's still going. I can't have slept long. We left, uh, we left. When did we leave? Where did we leave? Hmm. God damn. It's unnervingly quiet. <coughs> Maybe I should fetch some water. The restaurant should be open now. What do we have here then? Wallet. Yes. Dr. Lang, curator of the Krennicon Thames Museum. That's me, all right. I don't want to be carting a book around unnecessarily. Let's go stir up a drink or two. Maybe something strong is in order. Clear the head. Okay, I'm Dr. Harold Lang. My destination is Augur Peak Island. I'm on this train to... I'm, I'm going to evaluate some finds. They called me to... Locked? Isn't this the way out? A painting of an old train. I don't think the ticket inspector would be too happy with me if I took it. Good evening, my friend. I was wondering if you could... Ah, yes. I've seen you poking around. Having trouble settling down, are we? <laughs> Something like that. Could do with a stiff drink about now? Right you are, then. That painting on the wall... Isn't she a beaut? Runs like clockwork, so she does. It's... this train. Uh, isn't it a little old? You kids today have got no appreciation of machinery. We've got to be the same age at best. Well, practically grew up in us, so I did. There's nothing about old Gloria that I don't know. The door to the next carriage appears to be locked. Is that normal? Nothing's wrong, is it? <laughs> you city folks always jump to conclusions. There's nothing wrong. It's just how we do things when our guests are asleep. It prevents prying eyes and swift fingers. Isn't that a bit of a fire hazard? Pal, let me tell you, if a fire breaks out in this train, then no amount of carriage doors are going to save you from roasting. If you catch my drift. Be a steel coffin if the unthinkable happened. Sheesh. Um, could you possibly unlock the door? I could really use a drink. Don't reckon I can, no. <laughs> I can give you the key, though. On one condition. Mm, please don't tell me he's gonna ask me to solve some ridiculous conundrum of his. Bring me back a shot of whiskey when you get back. Old Floyd will hook you up. Just tell him it's for done. Oof. No problem, my friend. Thank you. A solemn-looking young woman. She's a little unnerving. It's bad enough looking at the picture, let alone carrying it around. Locked. Damn. No good. I can't even get the key in. Must be locked from the other side.
The restaurant is locked. This key's no good. Ah. Floyd must be getting things ready. Just take your time, boy. Let him do his thing. He'll unlock it when he's good and ready. There's no rush, is there? Hello there. I'm sorry for the intrusion. I was just what? He's muttering something. I can't make it out. I'm sorry? What was that? Maybe I should be going. I'm sorry to have bothered you. He doesn't seem to be able to open his mouth properly. I think I'd better leave. Maybe I should mention this to that ticket inspector. I can't just go grabbing someone else's most prized possessions. There's a man in one of the rooms in the next carriage. I don't think he's at all well. <laughs> we get some right crazies on the train sometimes, I'm telling you. You learn to leave them be after a while. Uh, the, the wretched man can barely speak. Aye, and I'd be the same way after the amount of booze most of these boys have had. Is Floyd still not operating then? Not as far as I'm aware. Ah, well, give the boy time. Hey. So one of your fellow passengers popped their head at the room at the end of the corridor. Maybe you'd get a better conversation out of her. Pretty little thing, so she was. Thanks. Um, are you sure that she was... <laughs> well... This was the right room. Hello? Something doesn't feel right about this. They're all the same. Why would everyone have the same luggage? I want to have a look inside, but these are somebody's bags. <laughs> As a child, I used to make origami like this. Where's the girl that ticket collector claims to have seen? I'm... I'm sure she won't miss just one. Could she be... Nothing. But that sounded awfully like a door unlocking in the next carriage. Is Floyd ready for business? Good evening. Floyd, is it? Ah, Mr. Lang, how nice of you to join us. It's Dr. Lang, actually. But uh, who needs formalities in a place like this? <laughs> Quite. I suppose you're here on business? Business? I, uh, yeah. A drink, Mr. Lang, that is what you're after, is it not? Perhaps a bite to eat first? Unfortunately, all our meals are reserved. By all means, have a drink, though. Pull up a stool. I'd better not stay. Your ticket collector, Don, I think it was, has tasked me with procuring him a glass of whiskey. Ah, yes, he did leave his hip flask here, thinking about it. It's right there on the bar. This one's on the house, Mr. Lang. Huh, it's empty. Flask's empty, Floyd. Better give me a shot of whiskey. 
No more freebies, I'm afraid, Mr. Lang. That'll be five pounds. Five pounds? You're burying me alive here. Ah, a bit of money. Just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> here you go, my good man. Better hit me with another. Excess is the path to ruin, Mr. Lang. We wouldn't want you to go before your time, would we? I think I can manage just one more drink. That's what they all say, isn't it, Mr. Lang? Just one more for the road? I can handle it. Never had difficulty driving before. And what about your liver, Mr. Lang? Can that handle just one more drink? God damn, Floyd. You always were a preachy son of a bitch, weren't you? I think you're quite mistaken, Mr. Lang. We've never met you and I. I just don't want you to do yourself an injury. I can handle one more goddamn drink, you stupid bitch. Just stay out of my way and I'll stay out of yours. That's right, Mr. Lang, let it all out. There's a good little puppy. What the hell? What did... <sighs> Shit. I need to go, Floyd. It's been a pleasure, as always. Aren't you forgetting your promise, Mr. Lang? Whiskey. For Don. Once more unto the breach, dear friends. I'm afraid you can't just take it, Mr. Lang, no matter how much you wish to. How much? It's not cheap, I'm afraid. Forty pounds should do it. I don't have that much money on me. I'm sure you'll find a way, Mr. Lang. You always do. Okay, here goes. Goodbye, bank balance. If you just enter your pin. Hmm. Now, what was my pin? I remember setting a number I can identify easily. No good with memorizing numbers. Dr. Harold Lang, Krennic on Thames Museum, badge ID CCPN. One three one eight. Okay, here goes. Goodbye, bank balance. If you just enter your pin. All done. Thank you, Floyd. No, thank you, Mr. Lang. What the hell is happening to me? Oh, my head. I can't think. <laughs> oh, Mr. Lang, that pale man you met, I think he just wants a best friend. Perhaps you're not quite what he's looking for? You are, after all, blind drunk. I don't think I should go back in there just yet. I don't think so. You're lonely. Is that it? I think Floyd was right. He doesn't seem to be warming to me, though. I can't just go grabbing someone else's most prized possessions. Worth a try, I suppose. Hey, sir, this isn't quite man's best friend, but... <laughs> that seems to have done the trick. I think he wants me to open it. There's an engraving here. He whose blood the earth's dark thirst doth quench ascends unto the heavens from her womb. Interesting. 
locked. It's firmly attached. But, hey, I think I can move it. Locked. Ah, it's open. Oh! The box is filled with earth and worms. They're everywhere. Why would he lock something like this away? Boy, you really came through for an old man. Talk about dramatising it. You can't be any older than 35. Glad to make the night pass by just that little bit easier. That reminds me, I never did find that girl in this carriage. Girl? What are you talking about? There's no girl on this train. But you said... No. It's not nice to go messing with old Don's head just because he's had a sniff of whiskey. But, you know, I'll let you lie. You've got spirit. Well, thanks. But that girl, you honestly told me you saw her. I reckon I didn't. And you know what? It's the craziest damn thing. You're just about the only soul I've seen on this train tonight. It's not normally like that. Even Floyd usually around. Must be his night off. Floyd is around. I got the whiskey from him, remember? And what about the sick passenger in the next car? Not seen anyone around, son. You know what I need on a night like this? A good book. Can't beat a good novel and a drink. A good book, eh? Don likes it as much as I did. <laughs> huh. Guess he won't be wanting the novel after all. Let's leave him be. Well, why not? The key to 2A. Maybe I'll find this mysterious girl. More photos of that girl from the picture in the corridor. She's sitting in different seats around a house. What is it about these pictures? My God! They're Victorian death pictures! I thought as much. I can't take this. What the hell is this place? Am I even awake? I... <coughs> I want to have a look inside. But this is somebody's bag. Shuttered and sealed, just like in my room. I don't want to. I don't want to see. Oh. God, get me out of this place. What have I done? I can't even look at it, let alone touch it.
destroyed. All destroyed. I can't even smell the booze. It's like this happened years ago. What the hell could have done this? This can't be here for no reason. There's a thin crack around the base of the train, as if it opens. I can't get my nails in the gap. There. It came apart. There's some kind of thin key inside. The panel is open. There's a switch marked shutters. The train's picking up speed. I'll just slide it open. No. No. Dear God, what is this? Earth. Nothing but earth pressed tight against the window. This can't have just happened. This can't be happening. I can't breathe. There's no air. <laughs> 